This video is on the course of linear algebra and this video is on the chapter of vectors in vector spaces. We are doing a series of proofs on vectors and scalars. We are now asked to prove that k times k prime, where k and k prime are real numbers, so they are scalars, k times k prime times vector u equals k times k prime times vector u, where u is a vector in the vector space Rn, and k and k prime are real numbers. So for our proof, we are only going to use the basic definitions of vectors and scalars, and scalar multiplication and all that kind of thing. If you are not familiar with that, please uh, re-watch the previous videos. So u and the vector space Rn will be a vector with components u1, u2, u3, un. k and k prime will be scalars. Okay, so what is k times k prime times vector u? So k times k prime times vector u will be k times k prime times vector u and vector u is u1, u2, un, etc. So according to the scalar multiplication, according to the, the definition of scalar multiplication, because k times k prime is still a scalar, we are going to multiply the scalar times each component. So it will be k k prime times u1, k k prime times u2, etc. till k k prime times un. Ok, but k, k prime and u1, these are three real numbers. k, k prime, u2, k, k prime, u, and they are all real numbers. So they follow the rules of uh, real numbers. Ok? So here, I can, for instance here, k, k prime, k, k prime, u1. I, I, I have k and k prime associated, but I can associate k prime and u1 because multiplication for real numbers, multiplication is associative, right? So I can do the same for all components, right? Here, k times k prime associated times u2. These are three real numbers, so I can associate k prime, k prime times u2 times k. And I can do that till the last component where I do where I have k times k prime times u n. Okay, now that I have k times this, k times this, k times this, I can take k out. So I take k out, I'll have k times k prime times u, k prime times u2, k prime times u n. Okay. But what I have here inside is k prime times u, k prime times u2, k prime times u n. So I'm not talking about this k outside, okay? I can put outside this, I can put brackets here and put k prime out, right? So that's what I've done. So k prime times u1, u2, un, etc. And of course k will be outside. But the question here is, so we have k, here we have k prime, and what we have here? u1, u2, un. Well, u1, u2, un is vector u, so I can write vector u here. OK, so this concludes the proof, right? Because we have here k times k prime times vector u equals k times k prime times vector u as we were asked to prove.